my glam fam, welcome back to my channel. I am back after forever. I haven't been filming, I just haven't been filming. That's the only excuse I can give you. Like I haven't been filming it. I don't know, just you know, wasn't getting the motivation, wasn't getting the inspiration, wasn't then like YouTube has made life so much difficult so I kinda lost my motivation but at the same time it kinda like had to kick myself back in the game so I just decided to kick myself back in the game to be with the last video of the year. So today I'm using a full face Fenty makeup tutorial. Whatever I had, I pretty much had like the first release of everything. That helped me create this look. I kinda like it. It's perfect for New Year's Eve if you are like a bold neutral girl with like a nude lips like the so it's just the perfect, perfect look for you if you're a bold neutral girl. I love the way the look turned out. So it's like the Moroccan palette and everything. So, so without a further ado, if you cannot wait how I achieve this look, keep on watching. Let's jump right in everybody. So I'm going to start off with applying the Fenty Eyeshadow Primer. This primer is actually really good. I didn't realize it until I used it that day. I used it before but I didn't like it. A little bit of a tea break before we jump in and now let's get started so from the Fenty Moroccan eyeshadow palette I'm starting off with the color cumin get it and I'm applying that color on my crease and I'm deepening my crease mostly my outer V but making sure that my crease is very defined Next, I'm moving into the color Desert Bake. I'm using a large shader brush and I'm applying that color all over my lid. This is actually my most favorite color from this palette. This color is so beautiful. Then, I'm moving into the color Spice Strip and I am kind of staying on my outer V and on my crease. And also watching a little bit of DuckTales <laughs> with the corner of my eye. Next, I'm moving into one of my favorite color, Saffron. And what I'm doing with that is I'm diffusing my crease color so that it has a bit reddish undertone. I'm just doing this step to create a burnt effect. Next I'm moving on to the color Casablanca and I'm applying that color only at the inner part of my eye. So I'm not going or coming in the middle of my lid, just applying there so that it looks gradual. Next, with the flat shader brush, I'm taking the color Evil Genie, which is a gorgeous blue color, and I'm applying that under my lower lash line. Now I'm taking a crease brush and just diffusing all the colors on my crease. Next, I'm moving on to the eyeliner, and I'm using my Fenty Fly Liner. This eyeliner is so good. Now I'm applying a coat of Wonder Beauty Mascara before I apply the House of Lashes Iconic. Now I'm just going to start off my face with applying the Fenty Beauty Primer. It is a very silicone based primer but it doesn't feel very thick or plasticky, if you know what I mean. Now I'm applying the Fenty um, Concealer, but this concealer is actually my exact tone. But the thing is I don't mind it because it actually covers up the dark circles. So that's the whole purpose. If I don't want to highlight it, I want my circles to be covered. So I believe it's in the shade Caramel. Everything will be listed below the shade I've used if I'm saying anything wrong here. I'm just blending it with my Beauty Blender. Next we'll be on to the foundation. I'm using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. And it is in the shade 250. I'm just going to dab it all over my face and just with a pure cosmetics beauty sponge i will blend everything in this does oxidize a little bit on my face but it oxidizes in a good way it doesn't make me look orange it just it looks very light in the beginning when i apply the foundation then it just tunes the perfect shade now i'm applying the fenty contour and I'm just, you know, contouring where I usually contour. Y'all know where I do it. I'm just using a Bogoshi uh, beauty sponge to just blend everything in. You kind of have to work for it, but uh, if you do, the results are amazing. Otherwise, there's a streak. Next, moving on to the blush. Since I don't have any Fenty blush, I'm using the lipstick in Spanked and taking the color with my finger and 
blending that shade in on my cheek. This is actually a very good blush color. As a lipstick, it is also amazing. Now I'm moving on to the highlighter and I'm just taking Mean Money with my finger. This is the Kilowatt highlighter and I'm just try I'm just creating a base with Mean Money. It's a very subtle highlighter. Then I'm moving on to Hasta Baby and I'm applying that with my usual highlighter brush. This is a Morphe brush. Now I'm going to apply the Stana lip paint in the shade Unbuttoned. So I didn't realize that this will turn out to be a very chalky nude, but uh, I apply the color all over my lip. Then I go back with uh, a coat of the lipstick I used as a blush, Spanked. And it created a very beautiful pink nude. And I really love this color. I really love how it turned out. Next, I'm setting everything up with my MAC Fix Plus. This is the lavender one, I think. So there you have it. This is the final look. The lipstick, you, as you have seen me apply two different lipsticks because I did not know that the nude was going to be that chalky. So I think it's uncuffed or something. Um, I did not realize it was going to be that chalky. So good thing I had the spanked. Uh, so I kind of topped, off, topped it off with spanked and uh, they both created this gorgeous this color. Like I don't think I have anything like this on my collection yet. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel before the end of the year. And also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And yeah, Happy New Year. And I will probably see you guys next year if I cannot film another one before the New Year. But definitely, definitely, definitely I will see you guys next year. So stay tuned for more content and more, you know, reviews and stuff. Um, hugs and kisses from my heart to yours and till I see you next time on my video. Bye bye.